Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're having an issue with an application on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer that reads that the file does not have an app associated with it or performing this action is not allowed. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result, should come back with registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything would go wrong, you can easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, all you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you would do is select file and then import and then navigate to the file location. So now that that's done, we're ready to begin. And we're going to start off by double clicking on the HKEY classes root folder. So you want to look for a file that says LNK file. So if you just type in LNK file, it should take us down here. So again, it's an L, not an I. Just want to put that out there. And now on the right side, you want to go ahead and locate a value that says is shortcut. Go ahead and double click on this value in here. And the value data field, you want to make sure it is blank. So if there's anything in here, delete it. If you don't see this value in here, you may have to right click in a blank area, select new, and then select string value, and you would name it is shortcut. Again, so pretty straightforward process on that, guys. And then once you're done with that, you would need to go ahead and close out of here and then restart your computer. So there you go, guys. Hopefully that was a pretty straightforward process. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.